Fucked up and what up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smil Kajim Young Baku. We are back for another edition of the B Side Forum. Right here at the beautiful B Side Shop, 130 and Shoppers Lane. If you got a podcast, if you got a music video, if you need some studio time, whatever it is, man, make sure you hit us up at B Side Show, at B Side Forum, at B Side Shop 66, man. I got some special guests when we come. Before I go into them, go over my, uh, my host. What's up with you, Ash? What's up, what's up? What is poppin', man? What is popping? You were in the studio yesterday. You were doing yeah, your thing. I'm busy. You were taking some uh, psychedelics. You was, you was no, no. You don't take any psychedelics when you go to the studio? No. No. Oh, you need. You need to. I'm a, I probably. Know, I probably should. You know, sushi's not here, but sushi would tell you you need to explore. I get some of those mushrooms. Nah, I just. I had. Uh, I had some truly. There you go. And I had uh, some of my stizzy, and that was pretty much it. There you go. No, what I like it, um, Have you ever experimented making music while taking like psychedelics or? I've, I have, like, I've like, process? I've DJed in my living room while yeah. taking those kind of things and because it, then, the, you know, then I don't fuck like up in front of a crowd. Like, oh, this is crazy. I don't, well, I don't like fucking up in front of a crowd. I like being yeah, focused. I, I like, I like being, yeah. If I'm, if I'm on the job, I try to be a little. But you DJ, you get a pass. I have a drink DJ, or right? two to like yeah. loosen up, but I don't, I don't like to overdo it because I, I want to do a good job. So why, why would you come in here with a Brooklyn jersey? Because right? I collect you know jer- the vibes, you know me, you know what's popping. Yeah, and so you you already know the answer, but you're gonna ask me anyway on the air. I collect jerseys with cities and the number eight. So why why would you do that? So that when I'm in the city, I can wear their jersey and represent. For Is city. number eight your number? That's my number. Back yeah. when you were in the laundry football league, right? No, that's my date of birth. <laughs> but you, you can go with that story. Hey, so for the people that don't know, you used to play football, right? I did used to play football, and not in the lingerie listen, football league. It's not. It's not. When people think women's football, unfortunately, they think like. They think of sexy things like the Long Bay Football League. Is that what, that's they what they Andy think? was telling me? That's, that's what, what Andy was telling me. Nah, I think but, that's what you think. But some of these people. Don't reflect your shit on me. Some of these people. You didn't talk to me, Mike, so it doesn't count what you said. Some of these people. Um, you played with animals on that, in that oh. team, right? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't know. Some of them might have been men at one point, though, right? They were huge, right? I mean, that's probably nah, disclosed, okay, but. Ash, okay, Ash. <laughs> no, but they hit hard. I've, I've, I have flown through the air. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. You weigh like 26 pounds. Something like that, yeah. yeah. What position did you play? Wide receiver. Oh, yeah. You probably got smacked around a lot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You were, sm- you were like smashing out small and little, and they would just come for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I knew I was going to get hit. So. Yeah. Like this. So you had to be fast. <laughs> you had yeah, to be I fast. just, I just run my... Yeah, yeah, I just I'll run them. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, you just have to accept that you're going to get hit. Absolutely, that's, yeah. That's how Andy dealt with his last relationship. Go oh, and introduce man. yourself to the people. Oh, man. Man. Hey, go listen, ahead, go I, ahead. I am Andy Rodriguez. I am heartbroken. <laughs> uh, we're talking about, but you are heartbroken. I'm right? sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. sorry. Man. We're, we're, Is that too? It says broken heart. I, I've been there before. I said mostly mine was because uh, the lake is split up, but yours is because of a woman. So it is with this. I mean, I mean, come on. I think you could. I'll flip this fucking table over. Put my glass like that. Hey, listen, man. I saw it in your eyes. I'll flip the table over. You know it. 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 You know yeah, that's about it for me. I'm currently running for neighborhood council. So if you live in Panorama City, you do business in Panorama City, do any kind of organizational work in Panorama City, whatever that may be, hit me up, endorse me, fuck with me. I'm the truth, I promise. We will get back to that, man. Like we will get. I'll, I won't leave you hanging there. You got so it. Right? Already know. Already know you're hot. Like that, they just talk. They just. Oh, you know you're hot. Little council members. Yeah. They just, you know. Yo, get fuck down with me. Yo, fuck, fuck with me. Fuck with me. It's real me. out here. It's real out here. Here's the thing. Look at this chain, man. This thing could be a gold chain. Where we at? Where we at? Are we at the Eastside shop or we at the fucking YMCA? Where we at? You tell him, Andy. You tell him, Andy. You know, like fuck with me. I fuck with you. Listen, listen, listen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because if you're gonna fuck with me, you go fuck with me off rip. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying. Is you go if, if you like what you see, you're gonna hit on my Instagram and then you're gonna see the truth. Right now I'm at the B side shop. It's a it's a Tuesday. I'm drinking white claws. <laughs> you, know, uh, uh, you know what I mean? So what flavor? Like, I gotta I gotta work at eight a.m. Black cherry. It's lit. It's a different vibe. We're at the B side shop. What my are we guy, doing? My guy, my guy, my guy. What guy. are we doing? Go ahead and introduce yourself to a play uh, people right. player. What's up, good people? Uh, I go by Good to Go. Um, I do camera by night. Rock the mic by. Uh, sorry, I do camera by day. You were close. You were close yeah. though. You know. You know I'm getting that. Uh, Wake yep, up, yep. Waking up, Modelo's kicking go. in, little yeah. Tito's kicking in, you know, getting loose. Uh, but yeah, go by Good to Go, uh, big into freestyling, uh, make my own clothes right now, which is like tie-dye. Um, and uh, yeah, camera by day, and I 
like to help people tell their story. And then when I'm on the mic, I sort of tell mine, I guess is the truth. We're going to get back into that, too. Go ahead and introduce yourself, ma'am. Um, my name is Alan Ed. Some people call me Miss Alan Ed. Some people call me Alan Alley Cat. Some people call me the Alan Network. Um, I just do a lot of things. I just, I just I like talk for a living, and I throw shows, and I have a long history in radio, and um, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be here, and I'm a recovering alcoholic. Thank you. <laughs> She's surrounded by all of us. I stopped, I, stopped, I stopped drinking for 15 days. I've done it before. This is do my you, second do you, time. Do you feel better when you, when you stop drinking? Yeah, I, I did it this time because I just really I wanted to say that. I, I just really wanted to challenge myself to see how much weight I could lose. I'm like. Yeah, because you're 120 pounds. You want to be 110. No, I'm not. Just I'm drink vodka. There's no oh calories. No, I'm not. 100 Look at Andy. Hold on now. I'm a whole 147 pounds. And I want, are you really? How tall are you? Um, 5'4". So I want to get down. We got a scale in the back. So three percent, three percent body fat right now. I'm trying to get down three percent body I fat, that. seven I pounds. That. I'm you trying to get down to sixty three percent myself. Yeah. So, a whole what? A whole thirty? A whole thirty what? It's like a whole thirty diet, but basically thirty days, like no drinking's part of it. Like that's, it's hard, but I did that. Yeah. And it works. But what else besides no drinking? Uh, it's argument. like no sugar, no grains, no Nothing dairy. Fun. So it's basically like meat and veggies. It's like keto. Fat. Yeah. Yeah. Ketos, ketos. <laughs> Yo, ketos. Yeah. Wait 10 minutes and he's like, yeah. Someone's yeah. hungry. Yeah. 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 We got, we got one more cast, so go ahead and introduce yeah. yourself. But yeah, very similar to keto. <laughs> let, her, let her introduce herself, man, before she before she makes fun of you for your taquito or diet. I'm Tess. I don't got 100 AKAs, but I'm Mama Tess. We have Tess. a few, right? There yeah, you go. I'm Mama Tess. And I'm here because I started an art studio. And you see that little flex, and Andy? You see that little flex, that's Andy? Right. That's light, Man. That's light. So, so you just opened, or oh, you guys technically open yet? Not open yet? Soft open? They're Grand open. Opening coming soon. They're you guys open. Are open right? They're yeah. open. What, what, is, open. what is it that you guys specifically do? We just provide like a safe, creative space for local artists and sell local art, but it's operated by people with disabilities or labeled as disabled. So mm. uh, we give opportunity and create like work experience and real life experience for these people that don't have it otherwise. So that's I awesome. know um, I, I told you before, but I really am proud of you. That, that's amazing. And it happened so quick, right? You just decided one day you went to this thing and a couple of days later you had this she building. She didn't and just now, decide, yeah. no. I didn't this even woman decide. is a bruja. She's a witch. She well, I wasn't trying understand. to say that. So. She <laughs> like conjures things out of thin air. Like she puts her mind to something and then it happens. So well, that's good. Yeah. So get on, don't, don't get on the bad side, Andy. Don't get on the bad side. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so Andy's like, yo, what the? Did you see how Ant, he got like yeah, all excited like, uh, to see you? You said art studio, and I work with disabled people. He was like, oh, no, that's so, that's so but tight. Andy, yes. you and you were like, you're like, a witch? I was like, yeah, no, she's a witch. How would you describe what you do as well? Besides the neighborhood council and the podcasting, stuff like that, and just being heartbroken. What else is this? I mean, being heartbroken is a big part of it. It's kind of the undertone of everything. But... I work with people who are recently incarcerated and people who are recently homeless and that also struggle with addiction and mental health issues. So like it's like a whole mixed bag. Yeah. He's know? the before picture. They say, hey, uh, you know what? You know what, whatever. <laughs> Is that your day job? That's my like, day job. Oh, okay. yeah. That's why I got that big gold chain on now, man. You living a life, dude. Yeah. I mean, I'm a healthcare worker now, you know. That's We're by the hour. Now. You got that by the hour. We're important. <laughs> oh, it's a fact. Come on now. It's <laughs> America, ain't it? It's capitalism, ain't it? Come and on you now. do have your you Gotten the vaccine. I don't know if you're comfortable talking about, but you have. Oh yeah, 100. Right? I got the vaccine. I encourage everybody to get yeah. the vaccine. Did you have any side effects doses? when you first got it? Listen, okay, so I'll did, you ask, did you get both doses? I got both doses. Yeah, I got the Moderna vaccine. I got both doses. I got vaccinated back in January. The way you say it's like a gang banging. Up. Yeah, I got the Moderna yeah, vaccine. Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, I'm gonna get the Pfizer. I read, I read Pfizer. Pfizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, run I'm all about that Pfizer. No, hey, tell the CDC run up. Crazy. I'm good. Hey, yo. So, what, yeah. what, uh, what I'm saying, so Fuck yeah, I, I got both doses of the Moderna. I, I recommend everybody got it. It's really been streamlined now. It's it's never been easier to get vaccinated. I'll say that in probably in the history of America. If uh, if you can get vaccinated, even if it's not your turn per se, but if like you can line up at the end of the line or whatever. I, w- uh, I think this is where we stop. Nah, 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 like, nah, 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 nah. I don't stand in line. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. your thing, man. No, because that's a regular practice stiff now. Arm, do your thing, that's, you a know? Regu- that's a regular practice now. So I'm, I'm saying encourage everybody to, ha- to get it how they can. But the state of California doesn't want other people that aren't eligible to get the vaccine yet to cheat. 
I mean, it's not cheating because those vaccines <laughs> hey, are going to hey, go to waste. You tell I had this conversation actually Those vaccines today. are going to go to waste. It'd be unethical to let a vaccine go to waste. That's yeah. my opinion. You tell him, man. You tell him. Go ahead. Yeah. Mama one, of the, one of the parents of one of the artists I work with, she doesn't feel right getting him the vaccine because he just barely qualifies when yeah. there's other people who might need it more, right? So I'm trying to tell her, like, they're rolling them out so that everyone that qualifies, right. even if you only qualify a little bit, right. like, you get it. Yeah, they, they do the rough estimates and they know, if anything, there might even be a surplus. I think right now they have enough for 200 million. So that's that's a lot of fucking people. So, um, and most people, not most people, but there is a considerable amount of the population that is kind of anti-vax for multiple reasons. Whether it be the campaign that the Republicans have been on and Trump was on for like, like you know, a, a good amount of the pandemic, or whether it be for like cultural reasons, like, you know, like, just how the government has fucked over black people, you know what I mean? For real. So like, no, but it, it, the government does have a history of fucking over that's black fact, and brown that's people. A fact. So you're asking these people that have been fucked over for hundreds of years and say, hey, you know what? This time we got your back. No, but here's the other thing about it though. I'm trying to get the vaccine. If you're comfortable to get the vaccine, but if you're not, hey man, that's good. I work with people who refuse to get vaccinated. That's good. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. I'm vaccinated and I'm safe. I'm protecting me and mine. I can do what I gotta do. If that's not your, if that's not your prerogative or that's not your scope. I can't, I can't judge another person for, for their experiences, for their emotions, for their thoughts. You know what I mean? So like, say, man, get it how you can, or like, you know, live how you live. It's all good. I respect that, man. Yo, good to go. How long you been doing this camera thing, man? Because I've seen your videos and I've seen the work you've done, and just the photos you take on your iPhone, and I'm, I'm really impressed, man. How long you been doing that for? Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I mean, I came out to the West Coast, LA, from Old Virginia uh, like 10 years ago, but I guess the last four years I've been freelance. And uh, yeah, just going for it. Uh, first AC on like a lot of high end docs, which is my favorite because generally it's like helping people tell their story and it's for a good cause. And that's like, you know, rewarding at the end of the day. Um, and then you also get to jump on like narrative stuff where, you know, it's just crazy camera contraptions. Um, but then at the other end, uh, we were talking before and like during the pandemic, it was cool because, uh, you know, it was like a lot of free time and, you know, I had friends who started businesses and everything got shut down. So I was like, yo, what can I do to help? Can I just like, get footage for you to put on your site? Um, and that was like cool too, because it was like, you know, using what you can do to help someone else. And that's generally what I try to do. Um, and then also, you know, rappers always need videos too. So there's that way. <laughs> but yeah. Those darn That's rappers. awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Is it, it, it has to be difficult working with rappers, right? Well, I yep. mean, he, listen, yeah, look at look at me, yeah, look yeah, at me. Yeah, you yeah. can talk to me. Yeah, yeah. I can, you can talk okay. to me. Well, being an MC myself, I mean, but also I come from the film world, so I'm like, oh yeah, when I say like a time, like I'm there, I'm there. I'm oh no, no, no. What you trying to say? What you trying to say? Trying to say? No, you know them, them. Leave no, him to go alone, man. He's a good guy. Those. He's a good guy. Leave him alone. Don't try to trap him like that. No, no, I apologize. No, no. She's had a white claw in the system. No, She's no. acting a little crazy. You know. No, no, no. I'm talking about just rappers. Rappers. Uh, you know, there's good rappers. And there's, there's bad rappers who can't rap, but say they yeah. rap yeah. and they use backing tracks. Does that get you upset at cool. somebody? I've I've done a show. I've done I've done I've done hundreds of shows. You see I've done, I've done I've done I've done huge shows. I've done small shows. I've done everything. I've seen Nas use a uh, backing track. Yeah, yeah. Is that bad? Should we kick well, no, Nas no, out of hip hop? No, 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 no. I mean, I just like I think. Uh, you know, like hooks are good. I mean, I guess that's what you're going for, you know. But I, I'm but I'm just, saying, who who determines? This? Are you the king and says, hey, if you use a backing track, you're oh, out? No, that's I'm what I'm asking. Not, if no, if no, you're I'm the king, let me know, and I'll you know I'll, no, I'll no, apply. No, I just don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. No, no, I mean, like, do you? I always I'm just figured, saying, you know. I'm generally. <laughs> or, that's a fact. Do you? I mean, but I'm just saying, like, but it's not real hip hop. I'm not. I didn't say that. I didn't say No, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I didn't. say That's what they pay me the two dollars a month for. No, but I mean, it's a lot more. I just. It's a lot more impressive to see someone, you know, not using backing tracks, really rapping. They know their words. They're putting their blood, sweat, and tears into that performance, just like you would see someone rock a guitar live. You know, they're not having a backing guitar. You know, it's like your voice is your instrument. So if you can really perform. For me personally, that's why I fell in love with hip hop. When I saw a real MC, who made you fall in love? Who was the one guy? Uh, at the time, when I was 13, Little Punk Rocker, Warped Tour, Atmosphere turned me on. I'm that shocked. I'm person. shocked at your atmosphere. <laughs> I'm shocked. I would have never guessed. I hey, would have never hey, guessed, man. It opened Pandora's box. That's like Eminem. Same yeah. shit. Like, oh yeah, Eminem. Oh, you can tell who's no, an Eminem fan. You can tell who's Atmosphere. That's not the same thing. Yeah, Very yeah. different. You but, see, uh, he's about to swing on you, man. You saw he's like, hey, hold the fuck on, man. 
I got an argument to say that it's the same, but I'm not even. Oh, you're wrong. I'll, I'll let you know. Go. I'm gonna have an argument, but you're wrong. I'm gonna take that. I'll take that. You, you, you might have an argument, to but you're wrong. To keep the race relations alive in this room, because oh, you know it's, it's evenly divided, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I'm gonna keep it neutral. It's all good. It's all good. Don't even. See, that's the young I, listen, school of podcast. Listen, I live, I live every day with the with the wrath of a million injustices in my amen, fucking soul. Brother, amen. So I'm, amen. I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on go mode. And then you fall broken hard on top of that too. It's tough. So oh, tough. You, you, you telling me, man? I'm getting. I'm getting oh Chinese tattoos in Echo Park at 1 a.m. So many. Tell me. How <laughs> in that? Do you, yeah. do you, do you, does it turn you off when an MC or an artist uses a backing track? Nah. Nah, because, I, just, I mean, I they got to do what they got to do. do. I mean, do, right? it's, as far as that, I mean, there's this dope MCs, you know, and there's whack MCs. But I mean, a backtrack, whatever, you know. I've, I've, I've watched some of the best do it. I don't, I don't get mad as long, you know, like... You're still rocking it. Hey, stop the fucking show. Stop the show. Hey, nah, what the hell? You're using a backing track. Stop the show. Say the man. Say the man. You can't do it. I wasn't saying that. I was just saying what's more impressive, you know. I will say this. And, you know. I don't want to be misquoted. Baga, we've had a, well, you've had a show that an artist performed that I was fucking with before they performed and I mean, that's why you have a fucking heart. You're putting all your info. Oh my no, 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 And I fuck with them heavy. Have you ever gone out with a rapper? Like, uh, have you ever dated a rapper? I've never dated a rapper. rapper? Not have you ever kissed dated. a rapper? Have you ever kissed a rapper? Nah, I've never dated nothing, done nothing with a rapper. I think it'd be too much drama, no? I, I don't know. I'm asking you. I mean, for me personally, I, I feel too I like going out with women, so I don't know. I feel. <laughs> I was talking about. I was referring to a, a female rapper. I, I don't. So okay. So hold on, hold on. Only only men can be rappers now. That's no, fucked I'm just, up. I'm just, I'm just messing. It's fucked up to have that scope. Just, you know, you gotta be I'm more liar. open. It's 2021. It's crazy out here, bro. Like you know. And men can like I, I pineapple Red Bull. That's, that's, I'm just trying to put you on some game here, bro. I, 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 I apologize. It's all, you know. I so appreciate are you are you turned off? Like if somebody if you meet a woman, you guys are vibing. And she says, I'm a rapper. Would that be something that turns you off in a relationship? I'm going to say this. You can be whatever you want to be as long as you follow a, like, a good discipline in that. Easy, dude. Jeez, ain't the 1950s, man. <laughs> nah. What, what, How dare you? Like, as long as they follow good discipline? No, but like. Jeez, it's, man. You, it's because you don't know what nah, I'm talking I think, about. I think that's it. Nah, because nah, 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 you're not going to so leave me on that note. Tell me nah. about it. Oh, okay, this, uh, you're going to leave me on that. Open but I mean, studio, are they I'm, dedicated? I'm, I'm, are they out here putting in the I work? Just, I hear you, but you didn't say dedicated, though. You didn't say dedicated. That's what a discipline is. He said, as long is. as they follow my discipline and they're good to go. That's just say my, he didn't say my not discipline. what I feel said at all. Listen, different people want different things. Listen, you know? Do you, you want me to get elected or not? Because you just no, want to see my whole shit I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. That's that's what I get paid to do. That's what I get paid to do. I'm trying to put up for I'm trying to put up for my guy. So what are some of the challenges that Panda MC did Right now, Panama City, one in every two kids live in childhood poverty. I think, I believe, a third of homes are run by a single parent, most likely to be female. However, though, the city is relatively young. The average is about 29, 30 years of age. So, I mean, what that tells me is that we got a lot of young families that are struggling out here, mostly because there ain't that many opportunities as far as uh, good paying jobs locally, because all the even though Pan Am City looks like a fucking parking lot, if you're looking at it from space, all the damn empty land, all that land is being used up. For, is there a lot of empty land? There is a lot of lots. It's not empty per se, there's cement, but there's a lot of lots. Yeah. Um, but that's in the residential neighborhoods, right? That's in the, uh, all out, all the lots go everywhere. Um, it's pretty scattered, but, because that's why from space looks like a parking lot. Um, but the problem is that because of how our social demographics are already built, we're built, like a lot of that land is being used to build affordable housing. Great, fantastic, love it. But why does it all have to be in Panorama City? You know, why can't we also use oh, that land? Wouldn't you want the people in Panorama City to be able to get affordable housing? That's a fact. In your neighborhood, as opposed to getting shipped no, out that, the land that's capital, a fact. But the, or Palm the, the, the Valley. No, that you're totally right about that. But the complexity. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, so the complexity test. of it. Damn, you're not gonna let me get my points out. I'm, I'm sorry. Because so I'm so comfortable with you, I, I joke about a lot. Let me get my points out. Come I, on I, now. The complexity of it is that, you know, well, justification is like this massive thing that is 100% in full force in Panama City. So it's like these retail jobs are opening up because like these luxury retailers are trying to come in and like those like fancy developments and shit. But like those aren't necessarily high paying jobs. That's, those are just jobs that are con going to continue the cycle of poverty. So, but, but like, and so it's, it's either that or it's affordable housing or it's luxury condos. And that does not make up for a, a, a booming economy for the locals. What that does, what that adds up to is for rising rents, for rents that are already relatively cheap. 
Vancouver side because it's Panama City as far as like compared to like LA County. Um, but uh, nonetheless, this is gonna drive people out. It's, 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 it's textbook gentrification. There's transportation being added too to Van Nuys. There's a light. You don't bill. like that? It's it's you know it's a double. So for the sword. people that don't know, right? There's gonna be a light road that comes down Van Nuys Boulevard right. that's gonna go through Van Nuys. Because that's a trigger. Of the city. That's a trigger of gentrification as well. And that's a, that, it, again, it's like all oh, so textbook gentrification. Don't you think that the single mom? I'm, and I'm speaking that every time. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That's why I get things all the fifty and stuff. The people that I go like the, the, the you know like the single mom that has to go to food for less a mile yeah. away. What does she like? Jump on whatever's gonna be the yellow line. Absolutely, line, absolutely. I get a grocery. But you know, what I think I think it's a good thing. You know what we better? I think it's a good thing. You know what we better? If she could take that light rail train a mile away to her high paying job, yeah. the union job, that offers housing shit. You know. But do you Not think support. that the city of Panama City is doing enough? Because there was that spot on Bosco and Van Nuys, right? That they that they said, hey, this big shopping center is going to come yeah. in 20 years, and it hasn't happened. I'll tell you an interesting story years. about that. I'll tell you, just, uh, the developer hit me up. He wanted a letter from me. So I asked, or is that not though? I don't know. It's, I think it's dope because it's if you can get things that, going. Yeah, it's dope that he asked me. But I asked him in return. You want to put it was for some different shit. So I asked him in return for, and it was through a mediator. So I'm not sure if a message got to him, yeah, I but I asked him in return for, 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 for 15 tuition pay. And I never Which isn't back. much for a big spot like that. It right? isn't, it isn't much. Yeah. But that's what I asked for. And, that, and like, it's, it's always like, if you want me to put my word behind anything, I got to I gotta see value. And I didn't see any value behind putting my word behind that. Well played, myself. well played. Yep. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. 15 tuition, couple of four chains. I got I'm, I mean, oh, you, you put some, some value on yourself, you yeah, know, like you're saying, like, this is what I work for, and I'm not going to let you just come through, and y'all yeah, just put my right. stamp on you, it's my va- my stamp is yeah. worth something, so, and you wanted to get back at the same time, so that's us exactly. go. Do you think that maybe because you're were, you were younger, he would, he, he's thinking that maybe you might get excited to be a part of that, and stuff like that? Yeah, you know what I mean? A little bit of manipulation. And, and here's the thing, I'll play the fool all day, I'll play the fool all fucking day, so that's me gathering information on you. You know me playing before, and I haven't been around him too, too much. But I, I've been, I've been in well, the pandemic. I've been in Zoom conferences with him. And I just played it quiet, played it cool, whatever. But then he's still there reaching out to me in a sense. So, like, what? I think I played it the right way. What? What if he would have came back and said, uh, "I got you five. Would you? Right. Hey, I'll take it. Right. I'll but he didn't it. come back because he was. He, but he didn't come to see. He you didn't know? see your, your value. In, he didn't see the value, exactly. Yeah. So it's like... But you know what? The mediator might have not have... Not and that, the that's that's the other too. thing. Yeah. So again, this is all... It could almost be hypothetical. Before we got on the camera and say, hey, this guy didn't... Maybe he didn't yeah, no, and that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said from the, from the jump. Just, I'm just so, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to trash the guy at all. Seems like a decent guy, but I mean, how decent can a developer be? <laughs> you don't think... You don't think, um, you don't think capitalism is good? I think capitalism is amazing if it's used the right way. I want to make a hundred fucking million dollars, but I want to re- renovate and re- reinvent my community with that hundred million. My God, I appreciate that, man. Hey, good to go. What made you come to California? Um, well, actually, I was born in California, so that could be it. But uh, I was just the high cost of Panorama City drove you out, right? Yeah, right? yeah, you know. <laughs> I know how it is. You're telling me. I, listen, for the people that don't know, I love Panorama City. I've been going to Panorama City in those swap meets since I was six years old, and it, it's everything for me. Now. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Cool. All good. No, I mean, like, I don't like to make things about myself. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. No, no worries. What are you guys laughing at? Man? You see the way Tess laughs? Like, oh, oh. Go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. no, I mean, like, I graduated school, and I was just kind of, I was done with. I was You're originally from Virginia. California. What? You're originally from California. I was born in California. I live in Japan. I lived in North Carolina. I lived in a couple parts of Virginia. And, uh, yeah, you know, like... Was your, was your parents in the military, or...? Yeah, military parents, conservative, very the opposite of me. I was the middle child who questioned everything and realized I needed to go west, where similar mindsets and values were there. Yeah. So it felt right. And also at the time, I was like, you know, that's when I think, you know, at least the generation age group was all moving back with their parents. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that right now. And I was reading a lot of, like, music, poetry. I was like, well, let's just throw a trip across America to Hollywood, then I went to Venice Beach, now I'm in like Cold War West Adams, and, but in between also, like I said, I like went around the country, lived out the car twice, to the coast, uh, yeah, just met people and always just kind of like went with the flow, and yeah, it's, it's been fun. How long have you been doing this rapping thing now? Uh, I guess 
in high school, I like rapped over like punk bands, did like the ska, punk, kind of hybrid, reggae. But uh, in the last like four or five years, the good to go has kind of been getting more serious. Or How do you up. get good to go? How's that name come about? Um, I got that just because uh, during my crazier years. Uh, so tell me about these crazy. Years. You say crazy. <laughs> years. Is uh, that, yeah. What does that entail? Uh, just exploring, you know, the psychedelic world. On there you go. Very, very fun Let's level. talk. Let's get yeah, into yeah. it. You see, Ash is interested <laughs> I now. I heard so you all like, talking earlier, but... Ash um, like, what's popping? Yeah, poppin'? I mean, it was like, you know... Ash went to an after hours, and she DJed that after hours in Lancaster a few days ago. You know how deep in the scene you have to be to go DJ in Lancaster? Woo! And they, they showed up. It was it was outdoor, right? It was dope. Yeah, it was outdoor, outdoor, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell me more. This sounds fun. Uh, no, yeah. It, I got hit up on Instagram for like an after hours I used to play out here. And they hit me up like a couple weeks ago and they're like, hey, like, are you available this weekend? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, okay, cool. And I didn't hear anything for like, like a week and a half. Yeah. And like two days before it was supposed to happen, they were like, hey, are you still available? I was like, yeah. And so they were like, uh, okay, yeah. So, so we want you to play like the 11 o'clock slot. And I was like, perfect. Love 11 o'clock slot. And they're like, by the way, it's in Lancaster. And I was actually already going to Lancaster to see my other friend's event that they were trying to start up. Well, I was go. like, that's I'll cool. So no, I, no, way, no I swear. I th- like, I literally thought I was going to have to... I thought I was going to have to go out to Lancaster and then come back to LA to play this other show. And I was like, whatever, fuck it. And it wound up being like 15 minutes away from the other place. Oh, that's great. That's and the place that I was at was like a small thing. Like maybe there was like, like less than 100 people. And so I was like, okay, whatever. And then I get to this other place, and there's like hundreds of people and multiple and they gave, stages. They gave me coordinates, right? They, didn't give they gave me co- so yeah. Oh, they gave they oh, gave me an yeah. address and they gave me coordinates. Yeah, yeah, so okay. I put in the address, and there's nothing there. Like it's in the middle of the desert, like nothing's there. And so then I put in the coordinates, and there's all of us. I see these lights like in the distance, and all these stages. I was like, what the? And I was like, this is fucking EDC. Yeah, like it's in the middle right. of the desert. So I good to go. What's the hardest drug you've ever done? <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, we'll just sum um, off the tape. No, but, 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 uh, let me ask you. Yeah, let me well, ask you. Yeah. Are you, are you. Hey, guys, my name's good to go. Do you not want to say it? Do you not want to say it? Do you not want to say it because of, like, future employers or you don't want to, like, you don't want to hear it? I'll, I'll uh, respect whatever I mean, you say. I'm just asking. I don't know. I just, yeah. you know, I mean, like. I'm just curious. If you know. it's one on one, yeah, sure, I'll tell you whatever. Don't pay attention to me. just this way. No, no, but if you're talking about psychedelic world, um, DMT I blasted off and a few times and that's amazing. Uh, I haven't done ayahuasca yet, but that's hopefully down the road in a bit. I feel like that. Does that does that help your music out? I mean, I think psychedelics help you with kind of anything. If, if they hit says it opens up your door to eye. Exactly. Yeah, it helps you with anything. Yeah. I mean, and it's just you know, it's whatever feels right at the time. You know, you can like do psychedelics and then you can get to a point where you're like, I don't need it. Like George Carlin, I think said it the best. He was like, I did acid until I didn't need it. Anymore. He's like, I got everything I needed out of it. And I still remember all those feelings and all the different brainwaves that opened or however you want to word it. And then he was like, otherwise I would just be tripping all the time. So, but you know, some people that they love to live in the world and if that's working, then like I say, I always do you, you know? I hear you, man. I, I get the point. I get the point. Hey, I want to say I was really impressed with your music. The problem is most of the time I don't get to catch people's sets because I'm at the door, I'm doing sure. this, yeah, man, you're I'm working. throwing some punk against the wall, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I watched your set at the tattoo shop just you know because we'll, we'll just fall apart yeah, and yeah. I was I was really impressed man. I, was really I appreciate impressed. that that's yeah. the first time I could because I've heard your music and I like your music but that's the first time I could actually sit there and watch you perform and I think you did a great job I think you're really talented and you have a lot of charisma not on this show but it just you know yeah. performing yeah. and things like that <laughs> no, but you know, all jokes aside I think you really did have a, a really good set man and cool. I was really impressed and it, it was awesome man dude I appreciate yeah, that I mean I, yeah a lot of that was from uh, the new music that you know has stemmed because of being trapped at home and COVID you know and like what else can we do besides like were you something? trapped at home with somebody or by yourself oh yeah no, I was it's with my safe at home yeah it's safe at home <laughs> oh yeah well yeah no luckily I mean I was with my girlfriend and you know we get along very very well some so. people some people they want that luck I heard yeah I heard some people it was like either like broke up or some people jump like four months in their relationship because they started here with some right at me when you said bro like well you broken. know i'm going yo, through and, shit, and, and he's going to text the glove bro like well, i don't but yeah you're lucky that you guys how long you going out to go from uh shit we're about to hit 10 years actually jeez dude yeah, so at 10 yeah. at the at the four year mark you should know like all right just put some salt so yeah. how old are you man how old you don't mind me asking what do you think i don't know i would think i would say that you are 39 years old 39 yeah. that's exactly right I'm is married. that really well no, no, oh, okay no. i was gonna say someone that range but going out with somebody for 10 years is, is awesome oh yeah yeah for sure now we got lucky i mean 
like she's down you like you know you God, like festival or whatever yeah it's <laughs> You know, it's good stuff. Yeah, I got lucky. She's I down. Ten years in. Lucky. Yeah. She's damn, man. You're like, oh, good to go. Okay. No, she's amazing. I mean, yeah. But, no, that know, is awesome. I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean, she's amazing. So. That's awesome. Very lucky. But yeah, I heard some people, you know, like, met someone, and then they would jump. Basically, they're like, well, let's quarantine together. So they jump like two years in a relationship, yeah. and they're yeah. super happy. And some people realize they were stuck with someone that they didn't want to be stuck with. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know, you know. Yep. So, I, I know that, man. I hear that. Um, so for the people that don't know, your studio is in Oxnard, awesome, right? This is a West Coast being a base show, but you guys are based in Oxnard. Awesome. Is it Oxnard or is it Ventura County? Oxnard is Okay, no need to get mad at me. I thought that I come out of you. Duh. It's all right. I apologize. I do want to apologize for that. What is the scene like in Oxnard, but like as far as the art and the music and things like that? Because most people, they look at they look at Cali, they look at the Bay, they look at LA, but they never really look at Oxnard. Mm, I, I beg to differ. Anderson Pack, period. Yeah, that's a fact. Mad, Mad, Mad Lib, Lib, period. Just dropped oh, no. a fucking album with Bruno Mars, by the way. I understand, but Anderson, no biggie. Anderson no Pack, biggie. Anderson Pack did just come on the scene in the last five years, right? So can we say before that? I mean, I know a lot, but I'm from Oxnard, so I, I guess. I apologize. Anderson but Pack like, have a different name, right? Yeah. You yeah, told me that. She yeah, told me that. Joy Love, something like that. Yeah. I fucked what him was back name? then. Well, Brandon is his name. Yeah. Brandon Anderson. So when we were growing up, like I remember hearing Brandon and then like disappeared then for a minute. A uh, breezy love joy. Oh, that's love right. Love joy. There you go. That's a good name. Uh, yeah, you play. You play drums. Drums. A breezy love joy. I knew he had something. At my church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's been he's been super talented and like he got his shot and he ran with it. Bruno Mars now it's crazy. Hey Andy, yeah. let's let people from Oxnard not talk about yeah. Oxnard. Is that cool? There you go. I appreciate. I appreciate. Well, you know, I appreciate, I, the, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the yeah. 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 see that young brother was trying to low key hate on no, our city. No, no, you know no, what I'm no. saying? I'm not gonna ask you. Low key like saying condescending like kind of like you know kind of kind of little shitty, just like a little bit like a little tiny little boo boo. You know, like when a dog takes a poop and like him right there like. Just a little dog stuck on the who <laughs> gets stuck on the dog, Listen, but it's like that. that yeah, yeah you gotta kind of flick it off. Yeah, yeah you gotta like. I know. Yeah, yeah. You should get it back and flick it off. You Listen, don't touch I'm it with from, the hand. I'm from, <laughs> I know what the hand. I'm okay. from the San Fernando Valley. My city's been being looked down upon my entire life <laughs> until the last five years. So I'm, I'm right not trying to look down. I'm not trying. But right, the valley does have like it's a little system. I'm with an asshole. I know you, man. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just saying. Most people don't know about Oxnard. Am I wrong? Well, you know okay. when I went and I talked to Common about it, he knew about Oxnard. So yeah, that's awesome. Man. Listen, I dropped the name. I dropped the name. I dropped the name. I dropped the name. I'll pick, pick it up here. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, Common. Yeah. It's Common. Thank you. Got it. Got I'm it. sure the fact. It. Two things. I'm sure the fact that your beautiful woman had a lot to do with the fact that he knew where the Oxnard is too. And second, no, when he I handed knew, him he the knew fact, okay, he knew Mad Lib. Mad Lib. And when I handed Common, no when I handed Common his ten thousand dollars yes, to doing a show, he said, "Where you from?" I said, "Fan Nights." He said, "I know Fan Nights." So I think he knows about every city as long as he gets something out of it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen. I posted <laughs> on Instagram, and Young Baca said, "I love Panorama City." The I course. love Panorama, and that's what happened. Well, look at this. <laughs> biggest mistake I've ever made. I made Young Baca never go on a fail. <laughs> so what is what is the scene of like on Oxnard for the people that don't know for the five people that don't know <laughs> what is man well they're trying to make the downtown area like an arts district oh. so there are a lot of artists there but like everyone has to go outside of the city usually to LA to what? like showcase what they do or to like really get some recognition or to be successful so a lot of people are really like passionate and invested and and looking forward to there actually being an art scene in in Oxnard. Oxnard. Yeah. Because we come from there. Yeah. That's where the art is being made, but it's being showcased in LA. Why don't so. you just reach out to like Anderson Park and make you open it? Honestly, he's coming to my studio. He okay, doesn't know yet, but he's coming. Yeah, he's I mean, coming. It's, it's so easy. I would imagine he's yeah. such a humble guy. He'll do it. That's what I kind of figured. Like once he sees that this kind of thing is happening yep. in his hometown, yep. like he's gonna come. That's exactly. Yeah. Exactly how I view it. Yeah. Anderson Park's coming. So for that's how I do a lot of shit. For the people that um, and you being a bruja, he's coming. Yeah. Once you and say it, because I said it. Because she said it. It's happening. It's gonna come. Yes. So, are you, are, with the gallery, are you going to reach out to people to do, like, art nights, do music nights, do comedy nights, stuff like that? Yes, absolutely. We will be having, like, actual events open to the public, but for right now, um, during COVID, at least, we can do, 
like some live streaming events and different small gallery shows. We can showcase local artists, local businesses, all kinds of different stuff. Like we don't want to just focus on fine arts, but like, you know, music, poetry, all art. Movement, dance, everything. Yeah. You're excited, right? I'm very you excited. I, I went to the place uh, a week ago. It's crazy how big it is. It's huge, right? He didn't believe right, me. Right? No, no, don't say that. See, come on, don't say that. He's like, it's big. I told you it's big. It's got a bunch of. We went to a podcast together. We both just happened to be at the same time. We went to a podcast together a couple weeks ago, and I said, "Is your place bigger than this?" You said, and you looked at me and said, "Way bigger than this." And I was Way like, bigger. I don't know. This place is pretty big. And then when I went to your place a couple, uh, couple a week ago. Crazy how big it is. I can't believe it, man. It really is huge. Yeah, right? it's absolutely beautiful. And it, it's right across the street from the park, and it's right across the street from like Starbucks and like uh, a whole bunch the of businesses, theater, the movie theater, and, like, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, little hype, some restaurants. And then you have so. a museum next to you as well, right? Yeah, the like main art museum that's like yeah. the fine arts museum is next door. So oh, wow, we're like a whole little yeah, art district. Hey, perfect. Right here. And it's, it's, right it's, it's 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 so big, and you have an outdoor uh, spot as well, man. So if somebody wants to. You know, possibly display the art. They just hit you up and say, "Hey, I'm an artist and I want to do this." Yeah, you can hit me up. Um, like you tag me on the post and everything. But opendoorstudio.org is the website, and you can contact me and find out. I like that name, Open Door Studio. Yeah, it yeah. at all. So yeah. inviting. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah exactly. That's exactly what it is. That's like, I feel like what artists need. Door. That invite. Don't leave me out. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, seriously, I, we should go. We should go next time. We should just, it's real dope. We should take a drive down there, man. Um, I'm down. You're I'll down. let you buy me lunch and we'll check it out, man. It'll be awesome. Dude. Seriously, never mind. You're the big. <laughs> you're popping right now, Bobby. You gotta oh, buy me lunch. Ah, you win. You uh, win. Okay, I'll buy you lunch. But seriously, we should go, man. It's awesome, man. You'll love it. I'm it's, with it. Let's do it. You know what? We should just we should hop on the uh, the Amtrak and Van Nuys too. That's what I did, man. You jump on that Amtrak, you see parts of Van Nuys and Valley you've never seen before. It's I'm crazy. Do that. It's crazy. That's what I did. Let's do it on a Saturday. Wait, whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. It's a thing. It's We're going to go to break right Woo! now, man. B-side phone. Yeah. We'll be back in a minute, baby.
Man, how long is this fucking break, bro? I gotta take a little sippy sippy, doggy. You need the job, right? Yeah, fuck all that. Look, we got the studio session after, right? I'm thinking like on the hook, right? We we on some shit like I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? I'm telling you that's the number one hit. Hey, 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 I don't know, like we got dishes, they want us to close and shit, but look, we're gonna try. Well, I hope to see you there. What are you always late? You're late. You're always late. You're always late. You're inside. Outside, really drinking? No, it's a break. I'm like, hydration situation, homie. You know, you get out of there. You can forget about what you're supposed to do. I'm so sorry because you're closing, so. Yeah. Sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're Get inside. Yeah, I don't need it. I'm a manager. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Hey, yo, Kaz. Hey, they got some big mouths, huh? Let's do this shit like this. Uh. It's a lot of chatter from your nerves, huh? But where I'm from and how I got it off the curb, huh? If I ain't say it, that middle finger the word, huh? Yeah. I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah. I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling fuck what you heard, huh? If I ain't say my middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling fuck what you heard, huh? Why you looking like you seen a ghost, huh? Acting like you always do the most, huh? Nail in the cover, make a toast, huh? Rapping Philippines and the West Coast. Cross the line if you wanna push a button. I'm not the one, got Neil steady ducking. Cool stand by waistband, steady tucking. Keep your thoughts private, they can make your face public. Circle of life, ain't no way around it. Lost my mind, yeah, and then I found it. Paranoia got me feeling like I'm surrounded. Demons in my ear, gotta smoke the lattice. Run around with the hooligans. Jealous, they don't wanna see you win. Let them hate. There you go again, yeah. spitting venom, sipping on the medicine. It's a lot of chatter from your nerves, huh? But where I'm from and how I got it off the curb, huh? If I ain't say it, that middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? If I ain't say it, my middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Go on, put this middle finger in your ear connect. If you didn't hear it then, you gon' hear me now. And that strap of thick milk when it hit your crown. Big ass 40 on my hip, that's gon' sit you down. That boy been around, send me pistols in different trends. So I've been a pro with the two. Mix it down. Hit your black 13s on a rip to scale. Bet I make the ground shake whenever I flip my tail. Hands it and wrist the chair, and we make the room rock. And we go back, keep batteries in a boom box. I've been hard like Dicky Shorts in the tube socks. Old thing is tats on your back, making a fool sock. Who not fucking with me? 90% of you motherfuckers, it's nothing to me. I'm a great A vibe, but when I'm touching these beats, y'all set Rogan in the battle, we get ugly with me. Uh. Hey, are you guys coming to the party tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a lot of chatter from your nerves, huh? But where I'm from and how I got it off the curb, huh? If I ain't say it, that middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? If I ain't say it, my middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Something on your mind, say it with your chest. Cyrax, war zone inside of my head. Shot rack, thinking it's a murder rap. Acting like you never heard of that, I'm only speaking facts. Squares, trying to circle back. Gorillas in my camp, all silver backs. My life's a movie show, time Cinemax. Women getting vivid, taking pictures on their back. No time for games, kill them all on wax. Kill manga on track, competition no match. You say when I bow, on my head too less. I am man with the bars, oh snap, no cap. Run the game, money never sleep. Take a name, run the game when I speak. Corona world, why when I peak? Cloud chasers, scratching their heads when they leave. It's a lot of chatter from your nerves, huh? But where I'm from and how I got it off the curb, huh? If I ain't say it, that middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh? If I ain't say it, my middle finger the word, huh? Yeah, I'm yelling, fuck what you heard, huh?
Dog, are you serious? I mean, 